Hello, my chariots. Welcome back. We are into October, so we are doing October love readings for 2020, and this is for Virgo, right? So if you are a Virgo, you come to the right place. Um, we are going to take a look at the overall, the heart of the issue when it comes to this connection. We'll look at the challenge, and we'll see if there's an outcome as well, and then we will pull some charms. So let's get started for Virgo, the month of October 2020, their love reading. Spirit, what is the heart of the issue when it comes to this connection between the Virgos and their person? What is the heart of the issue? We have jack-o'-lantern, and what is the challenge? We have death, and what is the outcome? We have black cats, all right. Let's see here. Okay, Virgos, what I'm getting here is the overall heart of the issue. You have jack-o'-lantern, which means protection, okay? So I feel like one or both of you in this um, relationship is trying really hard to protect themselves from certain changes that are about to happen because they are so fearful, they are so scared. So they're trying the har their hardest to protect their heart. Um, but you know, when it comes to change and certain renewals and beginnings, you know, you cannot prevent change. So, you know, protecting yourself to a point that um, you're trying to stop change is not the way that this connection is meant to be. The challenge we have here is death. So that shows that there is a renewal coming. There is a rebirth. There is something greater than what is going on right now. But you have to release this fear and release um, this power that you feel that you need to protect yourself from letting these changes that need to occur, okay? It is part of the plan. It is part of the plan to go through some change in order to experience something better. Just like this beautiful butterfly that's shown here, the butterfly is all about transformation. Okay, letting go of the past, releasing past fears, you know, and actually flourishing and starting a whole new chapter um, that is meant to happen. All right, and the outcome we have here is the black cat. And under the black cat, it says, fortune meets opportunity. So... You know, if you look at this cat, she's, she's sitting on a pile of books and her eyes, you know, are in the background. Black cats are always known as mysterious and very intuitive um, and wise. They know things. Um, and I think as the outcome here, you know, this is telling you to follow your intuition. You, you and or your person need to focus inward and follow your intuition because you have what's inside you to figure out where this connection is taking you as long as you let go some of that protection that guard that you're holding up and allowing a little bit of vulnerability to creep in and fill your heart so that you can open yourself to this experience, to this new beginning, to this new, you know, person that you're becoming because of this connection, you know. 
you feel so alive and you know different and that's okay and it's okay to feel like that but know that you don't need to be afraid of it that you know you just need to do a little bit reflection and you know still that mind and listen to your heart go in and listen to your inner guidance your inner voice and let them tell you you know where to go from here so let's pull some charms we have the heart here the heart here again so you know I'm putting that under the protection because you know you have your heart so protected due to you know past relationships past programming but you know you are so fearful to let your guard down when it comes to this connection um, because you sense change you sense change in yourself and you know that scares you we have again the moon here talking about unknown you know fear of the unknown not knowing what's going to happen but the moon also just means you know following your intuition you know knowing that you know you might not have every single answer available to you right at this moment but that you're gonna go with it because you're following you know that intuition um, and listening to that um, and going with your inner guidance because you know that you know deep down there's nothing to fear when it comes to this connection you know and then here we have the dragonfly as well so the the dragonfly to me is always you know flying down and skimming the water and you know picking up bits of to me like information and then moving on and diving down again and landing on the surface of the water so um you know it's it's okay to do that but at the same time remember that um it's your intuition that you know is where the true answers lie um, if you just give yourself that chance to hear that voice. So I hope that, Virgo, this resonated with you in some way, and I will see you again soon. Bye.